Where is Kate Middleton? She is the Princess of Wales, yet she has not been seen through a verifiable photo since December of last year. It is getting concerning, especially considering that Kensington Palace has now released two fake images of her. The first one caused a lot of controversy online. I covered it in a separate video that you can definitely check out. But long story short, most people on the internet do not buy that the woman in that car with Kate Middleton's mother, Carol, is Kate Middleton herself. The nose is different, the lips are different. She was missing her mole, and you could very clearly see that that woman was wearing a wig. So although it caused a lot of controversy online with people sounding the alarm that it was a fake image, um, it didn't get the traction that this most recent photo of Kate Middleton gained. And boy, was it ever an epic disaster for Kensington Palace PR. So yesterday, in honor of Mother's Day in the United Kingdom, Kate Middleton, allegedly Kate Middleton, right? Her team released a photo of her with her three children to celebrate the occasion. They claimed that Prince William was the one who took the photo, but now the photo we're starting to wonder if it even is a photo that was actually taken recently they claim that it was taken within the past week but just to remind you guys kate middleton allegedly underwent an abdominal surgery operation so if that is the case then how the hell is she wearing skinny jeans so soon after such a major surgery that is leaving her out of commission for the next several months right that was supposed to leave her out of commission until um, April and she had this surgery a couple of weeks ago. It doesn't make sense. It's not something that someone who underwent an abdominal surgery recently would be wearing. It's just way too uncomfortable, way too restricting, way too tight. Typically when you have work done in your abdominal region, especially to the extent that they're trying to make us believe that she had, um, you might be wearing um, some kind of binder to help keep everything in place perhaps afterwards. Um, and so there's just no room for you to be wearing skinny jeans over that. It would have made more sense for Kate to be wearing like a long uh, flowing dress, like a sweater dress. You know, this is a long sweater dress, for example. Um, she could have been wearing a flowy skirt with some knitted tights underneath. She could have been wearing, um, you know, those like kind of loose, they're kind of dressy looking pants, but then the waist is kind of bunched up and open. So it's super, super light and stretchy. She could have been wearing pants like that, anything but skinny jeans. That alone tells me that this is not a recent photo of Kate, or perhaps this is a body double, but there's no way that Kate is wearing skinny jeans this soon after such a major abdominal surgery. A lot of people also pointed to the foliage in the background. I don't live too far from uh, London, England. I live in Paris, France. So we typically do share the same climate and whatnot. And I can assure you that the grass is not that green over here um, right now. And it certainly was not that green last week. In fact, I believe that this region of the world has only seen about, and it's not this bright, and this region of the world has only seen about 30 hours of sunlight since October of last year. You know, um, for the last um, last week on Tuesday or Wednesday, we had a very beautiful sunny day where everybody was out and about because this was the first time in months that we had experienced true sunlight, you know? So the idea that they captured this photo and it's so lush and green and some of the leaves are turning yellow a little bit like this is early autumn, mm, doesn't really make sense. And then on top of that, let's get into all of the Photoshopping that was done. Okay, so we're gonna zoom around this photo just to really make sure that you can see it. Kate's face is very obviously imposed into this photo. Look how blurry her hair is contrasted against how sharp her eyes are. And the eyes are also appearing to be rather lopsided as well. So we talked about her blurry hair. So that's the hair that you see on our left, which is closer to Prince um, Louis. And then above her head, you see that her hair is blurring into the chin of Prince George above her. So to me, when I look at this photo up close, it kind of looks like a post-mortem photo. You know how they try to Photoshop these things and make them look blurry and angelic? That's the vibe that I'm getting here. And then you also see some kind of weird um, slice almost to her side that's closer to Princess Charlotte. Like there's just a straight white line that cuts across her cheek. Like this is just so terribly edited. And then you see the collar on the top half of her shirt super blurry as well. The bottom of her hair that is resting above Prince George's uh, hands is also blurry and moving upwards, which is defying gravity and all laws of science here. So a lot of people online also pointed to how weird it is that every single one of these three children has crossed 
fingers in this photo, which is rather odd to me as well. Um, I know that Prince Louis also had a weird uh, thing going on with his fingers. The last time that they released a royal image, it was the Christmas image um, of them as a family, and he had the cursed fingers going on. But it was surprising to me to see that the other children were in on that as well this time around. Now, speaking of Prince Louis, if you look beyond his right leg, you see that the stairs are fragmenting there, meaning that um, the background is um, is staged as well. This is not, perhaps they were not in this exact location, or maybe they're trying to do a repetition tool, clone tool or whatever. Something very, very strange is going on there for sure. And then um, also the left hand, or sorry, Kate's right, but to our left, the hand that she's using to hold Prince Louis' side is severely blurred compared to everything else. That was the first thing that stuck out to me. So let's take a look at Kate's two hands. First of all, they appear to be two different sizes, right? The one, uh, the blurred one appears to be more um, refined, like more slim, more long, more elegant than the one on our right, the one that she's holding Charlotte with. Um, you don't see her fingernails at all in the blurred hand and you see them very clearly in um, the, the right hand, okay? And then also, sorry, on the left hand, you see it very clearly. So on the left hand, you also notice that Kate is missing her signature ring. Kate wears this ring 24 seven, even scuba diving, you guys. So it is rather strange that she is not wearing it in the home. She has released several other photos in the home wearing this ring. So it's rather interesting that now all of a sudden with all of these divorce rumors going around, remember Prince William is releasing statements as a solo prince using his bachelor days cipher that he hasn't used since he and Kate got married, right? He's doing all of these engagements solo and whatnot. He's talking about, he keeps saying I, I, I pretty much in every statement that he releases. There's no sp speaking of we. And then someone else pointed out that Kate's knuckle on her index finger on her left hand is lower than it typically sits. So here's a side-by-side -side of that, that you can see just to compare to that Personally, I don't believe, and I think that the only reason why you don't see the ring on Kate's finger, I don't believe that these are Kate's hands. These hands are asymmetrical. I believe that they went on the internet and they typed in middle-aged Caucasian white woman fingers, left hand, right hand, and then they stitched them together to make this image. These fingers are not from the same hand, you guys. Trust and believe, okay? And another thing that a lot of people pointed out that I initially missed was that half of Charlotte's left um, cardigan is missing. So it appears as if it cinches in earlier than it actually does, which is rather strange. And so that's what really sounded the alarm for the Associated Press, who released a statement urging people to pull down this heavily doctored image. So something else that also sticks out to a lot of people is the fact that you don't see any reflections in the window behind them. Normally windows will reflect back what's in front of them, but here we are not seeing it at all. And it appears as though like the frame of the window is also warped and bending and crooked and whatnot. There are just so many things wrong with this image that it makes you wonder who the hell are the idiots running Kensington Palace's PR? These people could not be that intelligent for them to put out this image to millions of people who are speculating about the state of this princess's health, whether she's even alive right now. Hey, let me go put out this very clearly doctored image, right? this will quell all the rumors this will make everyone be okay like this is just such a stupid thing to put out right about now they really should all be fired and ashamed of themselves so now when it comes to my personal theory here's what i think happened either one they used a a sit-in for Kate, but that doesn't explain why she has two completely different hands to the point where they had to blur one to hide the fact um or Kate simply refused to sit for a mother's day photo op with all that's going on, maybe she's got serious issues going on with Will in the background and she's refusing to cooperate. And that's why they decided to stitch together old photos of her sitting. And then they pasted a face of her smiling uh, over the kids. Maybe this is just a hodgepodge. Maybe this photo never actually happened. It's just a bunch of photos stitched on together because it really does look like a Frankenstein, like just made up of a bunch of different things. It's all just so extremely weird. At this point, I need for us all of the mainstream news outlets to go back, double down towards the um, Spanish journalist who claimed that Kate was in a coma. Before all of this weirdness started coming out, right? The fake woman in the car and whatnot without the mole, the Spanish woman said from jump, 
the palace is lying to you guys what is going on with kate is a lot more serious than they want to have you believe she underwent an operation unfortunately afterwards there were complications and the doctors decided to put her in an induced coma to me that is the most likely situation here now and it begs the question why why is the palace so desperate to shut down all of the social media chatter surrounding the situation that they are pushing out these fake photos that are so clearly fake. You know, this is really hurting their um, legitimacy. This is really hurting their reputation. I don't know that this is something that they can bounce back from. Like, this is getting scary, you know? Is that the case? Or is it the other theory, which is that Will and Kate are not happy in their marriage. Perhaps one of them asked for a divorce. And now Kate is refusing to play ball. So she staged this fake photo op and sold it to TMZ, she and her mother, of some random woman in a wig, in a car pretending to be her. And that she's refusing to sit for the Mother's Day photo op. And so now they decided, you know what, fine, we'll use old photos of you, stitch them all together with the kids. I don't know. A lot of people go, oh, like her kids are young. So like now they have to go ahead and like, um, it's totally normal that they would stitch together different photos of them into this. No, you guys, her kids are not like two, three years old. Look how old they are. George is 10, Charlotte is eight, and Louis is five. They are well within the normal age for children to be able to sit down and smile for a damn photo so that you can get them all smiling at the same time. We are four in our family and we're all pretty similar in age. Actually, there's, um, here's the gap between the first and second, there's two years, second and third, two years and third and fourth four years and we have family photos we're all we're all smiling at the same time because it's not that damn hard and on top of that these are royal children so they are um raised to be rather obedient and you know well behaved there's no reason that they would need to hodgepodge all of these photos together because three well you know reasonably aged royal children cannot smile for a simple photo we would have serious issues if that were the case right at 10 8 and 5. keep in mind that when you look at kindergarten photos of classes of like 20 kids somehow they all manage to smile right but these kids at this age who are royal it's only a group of three are not able to smile properly please sorry stop bending over backwards with excuses at this point the palace needs to come clean about where the hell kate middleton is because again we have not seen any legitimate proof of life or existence since december of last year and that is rather alarming and at this point the associated press and other major 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 press outlets are sick of the games and so they issued a kill notification for this heavily doctored image of kate and her children so this is what it says kill notification immediate action needed clients please be advised that the following story has been killed and should no longer be used story title uk royals princess story numbers there date of the original transmission is there and the reason for killing the story at closer inspection it appears that the source has manipulated the image no replacement photo will be sent so they're saying in black and white that kate middleton's team faked this damn image it does not meet journalistic standards. It should not be out in the open because it is just so damn fake. They're saying, please remove it from all platforms, including social, where it may be visible. Now, this is not just a simple photoshopping because it is expected for photos to be at least lightly photoshopped, you know, to remove blemishes or just to brighten or, you know, play around with the lighting a little bit so that it looks more pleasing, um, visually appealing, right? This goes far far, far beyond that. They're saying this photo is just so severely chopped and screwed. We don't know what is real about it. So we can't in good faith publish this. It would be unethical to publish this fake ass photo um, at a time where people are concerned about the well-being of this princess, because this photo just is so illegitimate. It's not even funny. Okay. The blurs everywhere, the, the stairs, that are misaligned, just everything is not adding up about this photo. So at this point you wonder, what was the starting point, right? That they wound up with this. Like what was so bad that this was the best version of it that they could produce? Was Kate even there sitting down, 
right? Um, it just doesn't make sense. Again, I am just so stuck on the skinny jeans thing. There's no freaking way that a woman who just underwent the worst abdominal surgery of all time, you know, that would need her to take a month's off work is going to be sitting there in tight ass skinny jeans just weeks after the process. It's just ridiculous, you guys. It really, truly is. Like, they are just playing with our intelligence at this point. And I know, again, I know that there are some people who are dedicated bootlickers, but I feel like even the bootlickers can switch their brain on for half a second now and, and call a spade a spade, right? So now the front page of today's Daily Telegraph is calling them out. This has to be so humiliating. I have never heard of something like this happening, especially with the royal family. Like they're going from wor uh, bad to worse. I don't understand why her team did not handle this whole medical ordeal the way that King Charles's team did. His team has been perfect from A to Z, from start to finish. They made us well aware of what it is that he is going through. Um, they made him visible going in and coming out of the hospital. Um, they show him you know, reading in video form the cards and the well wishes that he is being sent. Meanwhile, Kate's team has been completely mums the word. And now here they are releasing two fake images at a time where we're wondering what happened to this woman and if she's even still alive. Like if anything, they're making everything worse here. So let's get into the front page of the Daily Telegraph, shall we? It says, and I quote, photo from palace was doctored, says agencies. Princess of Wales' mothering Sunday image of family recalled over editing fears. Having a, your photo recalled is just so crazy to me. You know what usually gets recalled? Food that's going to poison people. But an image, that is extreme, you guys. It truly, truly is. Like, what just happened there? So now, as we get into discussing all of the fake photos being released of Kate Middleton, there's someone on Twitter who goes by the name of Mr. Maximilian who posted this. So in only a few days, Kate moved from this to that. Who is that woman in the car? Hashtag where is Kate? Great question. How do you go from such a bloated face, right? With such a synthetic wig. And how do you go from looking, you know, just tw 10, 20 pounds heavier, different nose, different mouth, missing mole, missing dimples to this? in the span of a couple of days. It just does not make sense. The mole is back. The jawline is chiseled again, right? The nose is different again. It points a little bit downwards and she has less of a philtrum. So you know the philtrum is the length of distance between your nose and your lips. The woman on the left has a very, very long philtrum, okay? And then Kate on the right, you see that it is much shorter. So how did she go from X to Y? Hmm, we need explanations here. The AFP has also gone on to release a kill notice as well, following in the footsteps of the AP. And I know that the national French press as well has said, listen, this photo cannot go to publish. It does not represent reality. <laughs> That's basically what they're saying. This photo does not represent reality. We got to kill it, basically. Mandatory kill notices going out around the world for this damn photo. So you guys, I want to know what you guys think. Like, why is Kate not wearing her ring? And please don't come in here, you guys, talking about, oh, well, I don't wear my ring all the time. Like, when I'm in the house doing my chores. Do you think Kate Middleton is doing chores? Be so effing for real, okay? And one thing about Kate is she, again, she has always worn her ring. Don't compare this to you and whether or not you wear your rings. This is about Kate and the fact that Kate always wears her rings. And if she's not wearing her engagement ring, she's at least wearing her wedding band. But in this photo, there is neither a wedding ring nor an engagement ring, okay? And again, let's look at this photo posted by ByTwit on Twitter. Look, her knuckle on her index finger in the fake image sits lower than her knuckle on her uh, middle finger in the fake image, right? But in her actual real life, posted in the side-by-side, -side, they align. Sorry, you guys, those are not Kate Middleton's hands. They're not. This is not Kate Middleton in this photo. Where the hell is Kate Middleton? Just like I said, someone get that Spanish journalist on the line. I want to hear an update from her. I don't want to hear a damn thing from Kensington's Palace. I don't want to hear a damn thing from Buckingham Palace. They have been proven liars time and time again at this point. I have no trust in them. I want to hear from the Spanish press what is going on with Kate Middleton because this is getting very, very concerning. Is it a divorce? Is it a health crisis? What is it? Let's get real at this point because you know what? As a Commonwealth citizen, I am Canadian. I 
am owed answers. My little pennies, my nickels, my quarters, and my dimes, and my toonies and my loonies go towards funding this woman and her family. I am owed answers. She is a public servant. Give me answers. This is getting really weird. It truly is. What is so bad that they need to cover it up to this point? Is Kate still here? Is she in the palace? A lot of people are saying that this is reminding them of the um, princess of Monaco, Charlene, who tried to uh, escape Prince Albert, but they confiscated her passport at the airport and then uh, forced her into marrying him and everything like that. And you guys remember, she would disappear. She'd come up. And every time you see her, you just see pure sadness in her eyes. Is this a case of that? I don't know. But you know what? It certainly is a case of chickens coming home to roost in the way in which these people treated a certain other member of the royal family and how now they are out there in the open experiencing the same thing in real time. I really feel like this is just a case of that. And this also goes to prove what it is that Megan said in her and Harry's Netflix documentary. And I quote, they were willing to lie to protect other members of the royal family, but they weren't willing to tell the truth to protect me and my husband. This is an example of Kensington Palace lying. This is an example of them being willing to lie to protect Kate. Or is it William that they're protecting by stretching this out? Who knows? But they're protecting one of the two of them through their lies. Huh. Funny how that works, right? Funny how that works. Anyway, guys, I am so happy that this photo has been confirmed fake because when I first saw it on their Instagram, which by the way, it still is up on their official Instagram page and they're refusing to answer any press requests for comments about the fakeness of it. Um, when I first saw it, I said, this is, there's no way this is a real photo. Look at it. It's so badly Photoshopped, right? Especially the blurred hand. Um, but then the Royal bootlickers and, uh, you know, both within the press and within like the social media sphere were like, oh my God, look at all the crazy tinfoil hat conspiracy theorists just trying to come up with everything. They keep moving the goalposts. No, we have eyes and we have a brain and we can see that this is an illegitimate, heavily doctored photo. So I'm glad that the Associated Press, the AFP and the National French Press as well have all gone on the record to say that this photo is bogus. It is so damn fake that it can't even be run in good faith. It can't even be published in good faith. That is a historic, that is a very monumental um, call from you know the press around the world. And that says a lot about how far Kensington Palace, Buckingham Palace, and the British royal family as a whole are willing to go to lie it truly, truly does. It really just goes to show you. In fact, I hope that all of the naysayers and even the original supporters go back now and rewatch or watch for the first time Harry and Meghan's Netflix documentary or go read Harry's book Spare because everything that's happening right now is exactly what they said would happen, is exactly what they said that they experienced. Anyway, listen. I've got some ribs in the oven. I'm going to go check on them. I'm done with the story for now. But listen, if there are other updates that come up in the future, I will be letting you guys know. But for now, let me know what you think about this in the comment section. And as usual, we'll chat. That's all for now. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.